Good afternoon. Good morning, guys. Uh, topic is about a camera and accessories. So when we say camera, that refers to the light tight pass, which is responsible for excluding the unnecessary lights, wherein it will cost overexposure of the picture. So this is how camera looks like. But then right now, nowadays, we are using our phones as a camera as well, diba? So we're in our camera uses a LCD or liquid crystal device as a medium for us to to check or to view or to for us to know uh, what particular image or what particular object that we are going to photograph. So camera in photography it is a device for recording an image of an object on a light sensitive surface. It is essentially a light tight box with an aperture to admit light focus onto a sensitized film or plate. So that's the definition of the camera. So camera has its accessories. So we have lens hood. Lens hood is used on the end of the lens to block the sun or other light sources to prevent glare and lens flare. So if you can observe kanang camera na to, di ba na siya kanang sa, sa lens na imura siya more siya glingin o porma nga mora o uh, crown so that is what we call lens hood wherein it does not allow or it blocks the sun or other light source to prevent glare or any lens flare so we also have a lens cup lens cup it covers and protect the lens during storage we also have lens adapter which allows the use of lenses other than those for which the camera was designed and we have lens filters, which is allow artificial colors or change in light density. We also have lens extension tubes that allows close focus in macro photography. We also have flash equipment, wherein it includes light diffuser, diffuser mount and stand, reflector, uh, soft bags, trigger, and cord. So flash equipment, those refers to an equipment used for flash photography. So especially if it will be done in inside uh, or in inside or inside the room or uh, usually flash equipment is used for portrait photography. But then in police photography or in forensic photography, we usually we are not using those kinds of uh, light diffuser. But then in forensic photography, we are using side light uh, side light camera. I know side light photography wherein there is two lights uh, in the corner to produce a proper illumination of the object to be photographed. So in care and protection, we also have a camera case. So in protecting and in taking care of the camera, so we also have the so-called camera case. Uh, cover, uh, camera case, camera cover, uh, maintenance tools, and screen protector. So we also have camera monitor. So usually camera monitor, it refers to a, a lead monitor, a television, or any monitor wherein you can view uh, the photos within that monitor. So it provides an off-camera view of the composition of a brighter and more col colorful screen and typically exposes more advanced tools such as framing guides, focus speaking, zebra stripes, waveform monitors, and vector scope and false colors to highlight areas of the image uh, critical to the photographer. We also have the so-called large format cameras. So large format cameras, these are cameras wherein it uses a special equipment such as magnifier loop, a viewfinder, angle finder, focusing rail, or track. Usually, kasi yung large format cameras, these are for cameras used for industrial uh, photography. So, like, for example, in engineering uh, aspect, when they are going to photograph the building that they are going, uh, the building that they uh, construct, or they are going to photograph a certain uh, uh, landscape, so they need to have the large format cameras. Okay? So other than that, we also have battery and if your camera is electrically charged, then you need to have a charger, especially for digital camera. So some professional single lens reflex camera could be provident, provided with interchangeable finders for eye level or waist level focusing. 
sa focusing screen, eye cap, uh, data box, motor, dri motor drives for film transportation, or external battery packs. So, tripod, uh, tripod from the word tripod, so... It is used it is used for keeping the camera steady while recording a video or making a long exposure and time lapse photography. So when you say time lapse photo time lapse photography, yun yung gumagamit tayo ng saman timer. And then uh, long exposure if uh, when you say long exposure when you set your camera to a bulb or you set your camera your you set your camera uh, shutter to a certain longer period of time and you have this so called ano tawag nun, yung cable cable release we're in uh, even in a distance you can use that one but then from the word itself tripod so it's, let's focus on tripod tripod yun yung nilalagay yung camera para hindi magsi-shake during uh, video recording or during uh, taking a picture so we also have microscope adapter an adapter used to connect a camera to a microscope to photograph what the microscope is examining. So in photo micrography, it uses a microscope. Uh, it uses a micro. Uh, the microscope. There is a. You are going to attach the camera on the microscope so that you can photograph what is being examined on the microscope. Considering that in a microscope, it it uh, it magnifies uh, a minute object. Okay. So in other words. Uh, there is a microscope adapter for uh, photomicrography cases. So cable release, as I mentioned earlier, it is a remote shutter button that can be connected to the camera via cable to remotely control the shutter. So in other words, if you are using a tripod and you don't want to you uh, you don't want to shake or to ah uh, tawag nito. Uh, para ma refrain ang uh, any movements, you can use cable release, uh, wherein that cable release will be attached to the shutter button. Instead of clicking the shutter button or the shutter release button, you are going to uh, click the cable release. Uh, para yung siyang wire na kinoconnect from the shutter bo shutter release button, and then instead of clicking the camera, you are going to click the cable release, even you are in a certain distance. We also have DU shield. Uh, it prevents moisture buildup on the lens. We also have UV filter or ultraviolet filter, which protect the uh, protect can protect the front element of a lens from scratches, cracks, smudges, dirt, dust, and moisture while keeping a minimum impact on image quality. So we go to the types of camera. So we have the pinhole camera. So that's how it looks like. The simplest camera is a pinhole camera, which consists of a box with a small hole in one of its side. The produ uh, to produce a sharp image, the hole must be sm very small, and this restricts the amount of light entering the camera. So, pinhole camera. So, bangag na gamit ang bangag na. Okay. Next is the camera obscura. Uh, actually, camera obscura uh, previously is used for sketching of large object. It is a box used for sketching a large object. The term means dark chamber. So, camera obscura means dark chamber. The box contains a mirror set of 45 degree angles. It is mount mounted in the front end of the box. It's a double convict lens like that in the photographic camera. Light from the object of the scene... Uh, light from the object or scene is transmitted through the lens. So that's camera obscura. So inana ang porma sa camera obscura. It's used for sketching before. So but then it's the 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 beginning of having a camera. So we have the fixed focus camera. So a fixed focus camera. That's how it looks like. So dili nimo adjust adjust. It is the most basic of all camera. I have a non-adjustable lens. So, in other words, the lens will not be adjusted. Most models have a single diaphragm. So, single lang yung diaphragm niya. Hindi mati-change change yung diaphragm. So, ma'am, unsa din ang diaphragm, ma'am? Diaphragm, that is the opening of... Uh, within the lens, meron siyang opening wherein it controls the, the, the amount of light to pass through towards to the camera. Para siyang... Uh, ang tawag nito? 
mas lingin na siyag purma nga nasa ilalo mo gama, mo constrict, mo, mo dako na siya wherein it will uh, determine the amount of light unsa sa kadaganon ang light nga musulod kung dako ang bangag, biyan daghan ang light pag gamay ang bangag, mas gamay ang light nga musulod so, kasi yung diaphragm opening and uh, shutter uh, shutter, that's the part of the camera which is responsible for the control of the amount of light to pass through towards to the film or towards to the uh, sensor or digital sensor for digital camera. So, most fixed focus camera includes many inexpensive packet size models. So, from the word itself, packet size, ala ng camera nga packet size nga dili mag utro utro ang ang iyahang lens. Dili mo, mo adjust, adjust. So, dili mo, mo, mo adjust. Di ba makita mo camera na kanang packet size, tapos pag matuyok ni hapon ang iyahang lens pag i-adjust ni mo ang iyahang setting but then this fixed focus camera the the diaphragm opening and the lens uh, will not be adjusted okay next is the point and shoot camera so that's how it looks like so just adjust medyo and uh, adjustment the my uh, point and shoot camera I have many automatic features usually um, point and shoot uh, camera is automatic medyo similar sa the concept of uh, digital camera pero digital camera has this kind of type of camera then point and shoot so many automatic features that make them easy to use so it is electronic device so electronic devices inside the camera automatically adjust the focus wherein kung makita mo kanina bitang lingen mo adjust na siya siya ang automatic it automatically adjust the lighting condition so it will also adjust the type of exposure Iyahang i provide in taking a photograph. So a built-in electronic flash automatically supplies light when two la two real light reflects from the subject. So na siya flash ka na makita ninyo ka na mura yellow ang colors sa gilid. That's a flash uh, unit, flash unit of the point and shoot camera, which is which provides a light when or it supplies a light when there is a. a a little amount of light within the uh, the surrounding or within the object or the subject to be uh, photographed. Another is the single lens reflex camera. So this is how it looks like. Usually, most of the digital camera is single lens reflex camera. Kaya siya tinatawag na DSLR or digital single lens reflex camera. So the photographer views the subject through the camera lens rather than through a separated viewing lens. A mirror between the lens and the film reflects the image onto a viewing screen. When the shutter release button is pressed to take a picture, the mirrors lift, uh, lift out on the way to allow the light to expose the film. Thus, the photographer sees almost the exact image that is recorded on the film. So, kanang, so makita niyo sa, sa parts, so nasa mirror. So, if that's, there is a lens, there is a mirror, the film or the sensor na adi na sa likod, or, and then the shutter plane na sa between the film, shutter plane between the, the film and the mirror. So, mag-open close na siya. Kasi yung si shutter, it will determine the, the time. So, unsa sa kapaspason, musulod o mugawas ang, musulod ang light towards to the film or towards to the digital sensor. Okay, we have twin, twin lens reflex camera. So that's how it looks like from the word it will, it's a twin lens. So my dalawang lens. I have a viewing lens directly above the picture taking. Uh, the image in the viewfinder appears on the flat screen on the top of the camera. So na flat screen sa babawa na dito makita ni mo ang viewing niya or ang viewfinder. Helpful in composing a large picture. Photographers do not hold the viewfinder to the eye as they with a fixed focus, point and shoot, and single lens reflex camera. So, ang twin lens camera, pag mag-photograph ka, naa sa ubos ang camera. Kaya naa sa babaw ang iyahang viewfinder. When we say viewfinder, that is the part of the camera wherein it allows you to view what to be photographed. Okay? So, view cameras. So, view cameras usually are generally large and heavier than medium of small format cameras and are most often used for studio, landscape, and architectural photography. So, larger than small, medium, and most often used for studio and landscape 
and architectural photography. These cameras use large format format films. So, ibig sabihin, yung films niya is dagko. Okay? That produce either negatives or transparencies with far greater detail and sharpness than, sharpness than smaller format film. So, large format cameras or the view cameras or a camera that uses a large format film. Okay? So, instant cameras, or we call this one Polaroid camera, or at present, we call this one as Instamox. Or these are type of camera that provides an immediate result of a photo, photo or an immediate result or output of the object that you photograph. So, it uses the fi it uses a film that provides a print without, uh, under, without, being processed to a certain dark room, okay? It used film that provides a print without first being developed into a negative. The camera produced a print of 50 seconds to 2 minutes after the photographer takes a picture. The time varies according to the camera and the type of film actually. So, usually, uh, when you click, the result is there. The picture, you already have the image or the picture. But then, problem is, you need to be careful in taking photograph because uh, pag mali yung pag picture, hindi nakaka-outro kay it provides, di ba? So, there's no negative. You cannot produce um, uh, the same picture uh, with many copies. Yan. Not like on the other cameras like film or the digital cameras. Okay? So, we have the electronic cameras. Create pictures that can be viewed on a television screen. Uh, the lens is most the lens in most electronic cameras fo focuses light on light sensitive mechanism called charge charge couple device or CCD and this is for digital camera. The CCD changes the light into electro electronic signals. The electronic picture scan can be stored on a small magnetic desk known to be the uh, memory card or the me the memory card. So, usually, electronic camera or digital camera can be a link towards to a certain monitor wherein you can view the image that you photograph. Okay? Or you can directly connect the camera towards to the computer to print it out. To print it out. Okay, we have film cameras. Film cameras is the opposite of the, v the electronic camera or the digital camera, which uses a film. So, usually... Um, film cameras take pictures that recreate the motion of a subject when they are viewed. Uh, usually, filmmakers are using uh, 35 or 16 millimeter film. So, stereo camera, from how it looks like, parang stereo, parang cassette. So, have two identical picture taking lenses with match shutter. So, may dalawang lens, may dalawang shutter. It, so, when a stereo camera takes a picture, each lens photographs the same subject, but from a slightly different angle. When shown to a device called a stereoscope or seen through glasses that polarize the light, the two images blend in one picture that seem to have diff. Stereo cameras are made for taking photograph or making a film. So, may dalawang lens, may dalawang viewfinder. So, parang stereoscope. So now let's go to the parts of the camera. So essentials of any camera, therefore, are light, tight box, lens, a shutter, and a holder of sensitized material. All other accessories of the camera merely makes pictures taking easier, faster, and convenient for the operator. And it is called accessories. So essential parts of the camera, we have the light tight box. The light tight box, or that is the frame of the camera, or yung iyahan box wherein it does not allow the light to pass through if it is not controlled or if you will not open the shutter button so the lens the man the lens is capable of uh, forming the image say so yung responsible in forming the image so yung nagpo-form sa image so usually lens could be a converging lens or diverging lens so anyway we will discuss next week about lens 
So, shutter naman, the shutter is responsible for controlling, um, it's not controlling, uh, it will determine the time travel or how fast, the, uh, how fast the light will pass through to the, to the, to the film or to the CCD or the coupled charge device. Uh, for digital photography. So, yung shutter siya yung mag-identify kung gano'ng kabilis papasok ang light towards to the CCD or to the film. Okay? So, usually, pag moving object, if the object is moving, you need to use a fast shutter. So, when you say fast, dapat pas-pas. So, usually, in the camera, uh, in the digital camera, you can see a in uh, outdoor photography. Or the image or the sign is like like this. Nagdagan nga tao. For uh, portrait photography, where it needs a long exposure, usually you can use bulb or you can use portrait photography. Or portrait. Kana portrait nga naa sa, sa, mode, sa mode dial. Mode dial. Mode dial ang tawagan na ka ng imong i-change, change kung unsa nga uh, speed. But then sa una, it only have a number. So B... Stands for bulb. So, when we say bulb, uh, if you are going to click that one, it will not close unless you will release. So, not like on if it will be set into 250. So, it means 250 per, uh, no, 250. Sa pa ni? Kung 60, se kung 1 second, 1 second, ang 1 second kabihin, kabahin nun siya o 250. Para ina na siya kapaspas. Okay. Okay. The diaphragm, as I said earlier, in diaphragm, it is the, on how, how many. It talks about the opening. It talks about gano kalake yung opening that will allow the light to pass through. So, so the more siya gamay, the more siya clear. And even as a, a farther distance must deep ang iyahang image or sharp ang iyahang image, the bigger the the opening, uh, usually, it has a deep, uh, sharp image if you photograph a short distance. So, do all right, photograph. Okay, we have the viewfinder. Viewfinder, it is a part of the camera we're in. You are going to view what the photograph. Usually, uh, sa una, or katong mga point and shoot, katong fixed cameras, uh, Makita ni mo sa likod ato na na siya gamay ng bangag wherein you are going to put your eye to check what to photograph. That's, we call that one as viewfinder. But then in digital camera right now, we have the LCD or the liquid crystal device which serves as the viewfinder alone. So, maski pag di ka magtan, uh, uh, na siya viewfinder ng viewfinder, but then if it is digital camera na siya uh, LCD, so, ang LCD itself will serve as the viewfinder. Okay? So, depth of field, this refers to the range in front of, of and behind a sharply focused object in which details also look sharp in a final photographic image. So, film advancer is necessary so that the exposed film can be transferred to take, up, to take up spool while the unexposed film remain on the opposite side of the lens of another uh, exposure. So, film advancer for film photography. So, imo na siyang tuyo kon, imo siya nang i-adjust para katong na human na mo, tuyok na po siya dito sa katong na nga human na o na-expose na na film and then the, the new one will, uh, ano ba, ang, ang bago or katong wala pa na-expose mo, ato na po siya sa film plane. Shutter speed dial or we call that one right now as mode dial controls the opening and closing of the shutter. It regulates the quantity of light that reaches and affects the sensitized material. A dial which sets the length of time. So, length of time ang sa kanya, ha? In which the light is allowed to enter the camera. So, yun. Time. Gugano ka bilis. Okay? Shutter release button, that is the click of the camera that releases the shutter. Okay, focusing mechanism. So, focusing mechanism, when you are going to focus your object or the the photo, uh, the, the subject that you are going to photograph, or for you to have a sharp or clear image, you need to do a focusing. So, we have focusing ring. Ang focusing kasi, there is a lens. Ang lens meron siyang distance, uh, distance scale. We also have the... 
uh, distance scales the diaphragm opening ang distance scale distance scale ito yung i-adjust mo to have a sharp or clear image so focusing scale uh, focusing mechanism it talks about estimating the appropriate distance between the camera and the object to have a sharp or clear image focusing ring when we say focusing ring the outer ring of the lens which is rotated or adjusted or sa other term or other books we call that one as distance scale focusing ring or distance scale okay shutter speed determines how effectively a moving object can be stopped that is how sharply it can be reproduced without blurring or streaking in the final image with a fast shutter speed the shutter is open only briefly and the moving object has a little time to change its position before exposure is completed. That's why if you want to have a sharp image of a moving object, you need to have a fast shutter speed. Or you need to have the, uh, you need to set your dial into a fast shutter speed. Okay? With a slow shutter speed, and on the other hand, the shutter remains open for a relatively long time. Thus, the faster the shutter speed, the sharper the moving object will appear on the final image. The slower the shutter speed, the blurred moving object will appear. So if you're going to use a slow uh, shutter speed in a moving object, usually the result of it will be blurred. So that would be all. I hope you learned from this and thank you so much for attending the class.